The mainstream media lied so much about yesterday's lockdown protest here in Melbourne that it's going to take me a few days to debunk all their fake news. So make sure to subscribe to Rebel News on YouTube, Facebook, and also my mailing list at yourminireport.com so you don't miss a thing. But in the meantime, I want to give you just one small example that you share far and wide to help expose their blatant lies. Have a listen to the claim that both Channel 7 and 9 ran last night. Hundreds of anti-lockdown protesters. Hundreds of protesters. Crime reporter Lana Murphy was there. Snaking down St Kilda Road in their hundreds. I'm out of Cassie Zervos. Cassie, bring us up to speed. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Blake. Well, as you can see, walking in a pack of hundreds. Hundreds of protesters, eh? You make me sick. The both of you were standing next to me for most of the day. We witnessed the exact same thing, literally, as thousands of protesters packed out the park. It's their way of mocking the thousands who attended yesterday to stand for all of our freedom, including theirs. Then these same two reporters had the chutzpah to jump online and sook about the crowd chanting at them to tell the bloody truth while they were live on air. Like things have escalated this afternoon, as you can probably hear and see. Uh, I'm going to have to throw it back to you. A little tip for the mainstream media. Just tell the truth and maybe, just maybe, you'll get this sort of response from the people. What is this really about? What are you talking about, bro? There was one case today. That's one huge. One case. One case. Ba oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should all be in lockdown because of one case. Hey. Yeah. Just destroy businesses. I have no idea what happened there. I was just here to school this lad to explain to him that one case is so deadly that we must give our lives up to the seas. If you love this report, make sure to... Oh, 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 oh,